Calm down and tell me what the problem is. Yes, I'm at work. Yes, I can, but yeah, I can make out time for us to talk, yes. But at least you can give them an idea what the audience is about. Okay, if you insist, start coming immediately. Okay. Who was that? It's my cousin, Jane. She said she needs to see me about something very important. I don't know what the urgency is all about. Maybe she needs medical attention. Or maybe she has missed her period. There is no way my kid cousin would be pregnant out of wedlock. She knows better. Did you just call Jane a kid? Uh -uh. Talking as if you don't know what we encounter here almost every day. So many girls not even up to Jane's age have been put in the family with through DC by guys. I mean, some of them use their senses these days. Though. My cousin is amongst the few. Girl, we'll wait here and see what the emergency is all about. Happy girl. Mm -hmm. You're such a pessimist. Clinic matters. Keep watching. You've cried throughout yesterday and you're at it again. Whatever the problem is, you should be more concerned about getting better first. Nos, you can't understand. You said the same thing yesterday, but I'm more concerned about your health. If you continue to cry and hurt yourself, it will reduce the effect of the drugs and injection given to you. Nos, my husband wants to end our marriage, and I'm the cause of it. Why would you want to do that and how is it your fault? I made a very huge mistake. I ran into one of my ex-boyfriends a few years after I got married. And we became friends. We started getting close. I thought we could just be friends. But I was wrong. Is that I seen each other? Until my husband got to know about it. Ah, uh, what were you doing with an ex when you're married? You see, that's the mistake we ladies often make at times. How can you feel you could just be friends with somebody you once felt something strong for? How? I didn't know I still have feelings for him. I just wanted us to be friends for all time's sake. Honestly, God. I never intend to cheat on my husband, I swear. There is no point. Since you're married, you don't have any business keeping any ex as a friend. It's dangerous and it distracts you from marriage. I've been apologizing to him, but he wouldn't listen. He has been avoiding me. Please, Nuts, help me to call him. Tell him that I'm almost dying. Daddy needs to come here. Please. Oh, I'll be lying if I tell him that you are dying. I, I don't want to lie to him, no. No, please, I beg you. Just let him come and see my condition. And maybe he might forgive me, please. Ma'am, I can help you call him and get him to come and see you, but I will not lie to him that you're dying. You're not dying. Thank you. Thank you. I'll call you, eh? Sorry, it's okay. There's no need hiding anything from you. I'm like your sister too. Mm -hmm. Whatever the problem is, you can talk to me. Mm -hmm. I already told your sister what the problem might possibly be. And what do you think the problem is? See, my dear, we often fall for the seat of men, not because we want to. But because we are women and we're very emotional, we'll fall for their lies, hook, line, and sinker. Eh? But... It's not new. I only hope the person responsible for it is responsible. Responsible for what? Uh, Stop playing dumb with me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not pregnant! Uh, huh. Please, when do you think my style will be lesbian? I need to talk to her. You can talk to me. You can talk to me. I'm your sister too. It's a family matter! Good afternoon, sister. Good afternoon, my dear. It sounded like an emergency over the phone. Yes, it is. I need to talk to you right away. Oh, you can't wait. Is he denying responsibility? No, sorry, I'm not pregnant. Ah. Sorry, yo. It's as better the snows as a big need to see. My 
parents are the verge of divorcing. What? Why? What happened? They've been having a fight for the past few weeks. Mom suspected dad was having an affair with the secretary at work. She tailed him down to the hotel where she confirmed her suspicion. She got fiscal with dad and the secretary. It was a public disgrace. Oh, that is serious. But it's something they can resolve. Dad is insisting mom disgraced him publicly and she should apologize for that. And mom is saying dad betrayed her trust and she would never apologize to him or forgive him. The both of them have decided to settle for divorce. I overheard the argument this morning. You must make sure that doesn't happen. I don't know how to do that. That's why I'm here to see you. As the first child, you must know you, the children, are the ones that would suffer it if your parents ever divorce. I know, but I don't know how to prevent it from happening. My mom is very bitter about the whole thing, and my dad's reaction is something I can't withstand. It's your mom you have to talk to. Tell her to apologize to your father and make him see reasons why she did what she did. Then your father can feel sorry for what he did. Most importantly, she needs to remain in the marriage, if not for anything, at least for her children. Do you think she would listen to me? Why not? She's your mother and she loves you. As for me, divorce is never a good solution to any troubled marriage, especially when children are involved. No woman should leave her home for a strange woman to take over. She should make her marriage work with understanding, patience and prayers. <sighs> are having a serious fight and they are considering a divorce. What? Hi. Why do couples consider separation as a solution to whatever problem challenging their marriage? What, what happened to the vow of for better for worse? Where is um, Jane? She's gone and no, she's not pregnant. I know. And I don't agree with most of the things you told her in there. How can you advise that her mother apologized to a man that betrayed her trust? That's absurd. Did you eavesdrop on us? Yes. And I don't see any reason why you think any woman should remain the marriage she's unhappy in. Ah, that's very crazy. My dear, there are times you do things for the sake of peace. It doesn't matter who apologizes first. What is important is making the marriage work. I agree with you, Nurse Teresa. Patience is a virtue. One can walk out of courtship if it's not working, but for marriage it's for better for worse. So tell me, why does the word divorce exist? Hmm? The only thing we may see for this man, I'm saying, when man and woman don't marry, they can't start to the qualify for the marriage. In the better time, say, make two of them cuckoo separate. Thank you, Biniki. Ah, for the first time, I feel like giving you a hug. Ah, you. Marriage is not a do or die affair. There are so many single parents happier than the married ones. Well, my opinion is different. Once you've made up your mind to get married, for me, it's too late to turn back. Exactly, thank you. Other, like the woman where they live for our street. Eh? Now see her husband they use for by, by boxing every day. Every day now you go see plaster, bondage for the woman body. That can't be say I won't take tell and say it don't too late to turn back. Why did she marry a bully as a husband? And what if she no no say the woman a bully, the man a bully before see That's the excess of prayer and caution before marriage. So they could get to know each other properly before they marry themselves. Never marry someone who you are not sure you could spend the rest of your life with. What if you thought you knew the person before marriage and after marriage, do you expect it happens? Well, it simply means your marriage is being troubled. You have to make it work. No, it simply means you guys made a huge mistake by getting married in the first place. Call it quit and go your separate ways. That's why the word divorce exists. Don't <laughs> 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 Thank 
Excuse me. Um, please, remember I told you I helped the lady in here call her husband that his attention is needed urgently. The woman wants me to help her with the man, and he'll be here any minute. But I don't think I'll be able to do that alone. I will need your help, please. Okay. Um, if he comes when I'm all busy, we'll do that together. Eh, no problem. Even if she's busy, we could talk to him together. Uh, thank you. I would actually prefer Nostalza and I do that. Why? So you think I can't make the man change his mind about leaving the marriage or what? Not when you think divorce is the solution to any troubled marriage. Is it not? It's not. <laughs> Please, don't let's start again. Ah, there are people enduring and tolerating their marriage and everyone deserves to be happy. And if quitting will make them happy, fine. Um, let me ask you this question and I hope you give me the right answer. Shoot. You're from a polygam also. Why do you think your mother is still married to your father even when he married another woman after her? My mother is a Christian and she goes to church too much. She thinks everything should be forgiven. No. She's still in the marriage because she doesn't want her children to experience what it's like to come from a broken home. And she understands the concept of for better, for worse. Exactly. You see? Tell me, if I were your brother and I come to report to you that my wife is cheating on me with her ex, would you advise I forgive her? Yes, if you still love her, based on the condition that she's very sorry, I'll ask you to give her a second chance. We all deserve a second chance. <laughs> Nurse, this case is even beyond what I can decide now. I have reported her to my family and they have decided that I let her go. Your family does not have the right to decide what happens in your home. She's oh. your wife mm -hmm. and you chose to marry her. If she's offended you and she's sorry about it, it's your duty to forgive her. Yes. Except if you never loved her. This is not a question of if I love her or not. Ask her. I gave her everything she needs as a woman, including my love. I just don't know how I can get myself to love her as much as I used to. I don't, I don't know. And sir, the first thing is to forgive her and give her a second chance. With time, you'll get to love her even more than you used to. So, we we'll leave the both of you so you can talk. Hmm? <laughs> sorry, honey. Sorry, sorry. Do you want me to call one of the nurses? My mom, like you advised, she apologized to my dad for fighting him publicly, and my dad apologized to her for cheating on her, oh. and he promised never to cheat on her again. He blamed the devil for everything, and they are happy together again. Wow, it's a beautiful thing to make up. It strengthens the love and makes the relationship stronger. It makes the couple fall in love afresh. And now you completely agree that divorce is not always the solution to trouble marriage. I've always known that. It's just that I like to see us argue and trash out issues. <laughs> it brings out the best in us, you know. So much. You are something else. Yes, I know. <laughs> Jane, I'm so happy for you and your parents that you're back together again. Thank you. Never marry someone who you're not sure you can spend the rest of your life with. Mm. What if you. What if. Oh. Let's go. Action. What if you thought you know the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with? Ha! Penny. Action. What if you thought you knew the person and you're going to spend the rest of your life with the person? Eh? And is it rough? Give her a second chance. We all deserve a second chance. Look, this has gone. Let's go, let's go. Are you there? Yes! Go! Action! Look. Is it gone? Action. There is no point. 
You, you don't have any business keeping any ex as a friend since you're married. It's dangerous and it distracts you from... Mm -hmm. Sorry, let me take it again. I just want us to be just friends. No, just like old times sake. Okay. But for marriage, it's still for better for worse. Then why does the does that supposed to be my? Why does it work? Oh, let's go. Two, 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 action. I agree with Shannon's theories. Patience is a bitch. What what can actually work out of a ring? Um, I'm sorry. Go, two, two, action. What were you doing with an ex when you're married? We start. We start. We started okay. Action. We started seeing each other. That's why they called the work. Action. No. It simply means you guys make a very huge mistake by getting married in the first place. Call this quiz and move your separate ways. That's why the divorce. That's why the word divorce exists. <laughs>